Hello and welcome to this Forex preview at XM.com. I'm Maria Pachardes and joining me is investment analyst Marios Hajigiriakos. We'll be discussing the Reserve Bank of New Zealand's upcoming policy meeting and the potential reaction in the Kiwi. So Maris, the RBNZ will conclude its policy meeting early on Wednesday, and it looks as though policymakers may take more action to support the economy, even though domestic economic data have held up well so far. What strategy is the RBNZ likely to use? Hello, Maria. Well, let me explain what has been happening in New Zealand, and then I'll give you what I think will happen at the meeting. So New Zealand has been one of the most successful uh, countries in dealing with the virus itself. Until today, the nation went 100 days without a single uh, infection. Now, economic data have also held up quite well. The unemployment rate even fell in the second quarter, although that has more to do with how they measure it than anything else. So what's the point here? The economy is doing decently, infections are low to non-existent, but I still think that the RPNZ will take some action overnight. And the reason is this, New Zealand may be virus free, but in order for the nation to stay virus free, it has to keep its borders closed. That means that the tourism industry and anything related to that is suffering. It also means because New Zealand is an export-heavy economy, if the rest of the global economy is not doing well, that means New Zealand is not going to do that well uh, either. So the Kiwi comes into this because it has been strengthening lately and a stronger currency doesn't go well. It makes exports less competitive abroad and it pushes down on inflation. And overall, I think it's the last thing that the RBNZ uh, will want to see. So the point here is that Monetary policy works with a lag. So if you know that the shock is coming a few months from now and your tourism industry will take a hit, it makes more sense to act now, not to wait. So what are they likely to do? I think that the most, um, the most obvious strategy is to expand the QE program. But I think that overall, the bigger driver for the markets will be how open they appear to using more unconventional tools. So specifically, whether they would be open to take rates to negative territory and whether they would be open to purchasing foreign assets. If they signal that either one of this is a possibility, that would be a very dovish signal for the market. Okay. And what can we expect in terms of the potential reaction in the Kiwi? Well, if they take any further action, that would argue for a negative reaction because the market seems split in a sense. A lot of analysts are saying that they won't do anything. So any sort of action might come as a negative surprise for the markets and push the QE down. But my argument is this, even if the RPNZ doesn't act, even if it does nothing, it might still uh, single out the QE and say something like, we're monitoring the exchange rate very closely, that developments lately have not been favorable. If it continues, we might be forced to, to take more drastic action. And if they do that, which I think is very likely to happen, that would argue for a negative action in the QE as well. Marius, thanks so much. And thanks for joining us at XM.com.